Hey YouTubers, I just wanted to give you an update about the weight loss, the exercise plan that has uh, basically come to a screeching halt, what's going on in my life, and how completely and totally exhausted I am. I'm so perky. Everybody keeps saying to me, God, you look, you seem like you have so much energy and you're so perky and you're, you look good and blah, blah, blah. Well, I uh, don't feel good. Um, I guess there was a t uh, little bit of a time frame there since I started losing weight until now that I was feeling really great and I guess the fibromyalgia has made me crash. Boom. Bang. Slam. I have just weighed in so officially my weight loss uh, is uh, 20 and a half pounds. Yay. Yay. I'm very excited. It's gone very, very slow. I was exercising um, five days a week, and I did that for a couple weeks, and my back started uh, killing me. Not just like hurting me a little bit, but like killing me to where I didn't want to walk, I didn't want to sit, I wanted to lay down and die, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm uh, dealing with that all day long at work in the same chair for eight hours, and... Um, of course, I am a customer service representative. I got the headset on me all day long. It's not like I can get up and wander around whenever I want and stretch. Although I do get up and kind of stretch while I'm at my desk. But it has been several weeks, two and a half weeks, I think, that I've been dealing with this back thing. It kind of went away when Dale and I went to Del Mar, which was great. I was like, thank you, God. It went away like the day before. And it came back like a couple days after we got back, like the 18th or 19th, that it started hurting again. Now, I have been on the uh, Nutrisystem now. Um, started April 8th, and it is June 24th right now. So two and a half months, I've lost the 20 and a half pounds. I've lost uh, many clothes sizes, and I'm still hoping to lose a lot more I have a lot more to lose. I won't even tell you how much, and I don't even want to think about how much because it could be discouraging, and I don't want to go there. But the fibromyalgia, um, I know that several of you are suffering uh, from the uh, same illness that I have. Um, I do not take meds. Meds never worked for me. Meds only gave me side effects that were pretty much worse than the pain or just as bad as the pain, so I've never... Uh, I haven't taken another pain med in probably two, two and a half years, three years, probably more than like three years or, or even longer. Uh, I just, the pain meds are no good and they don't work for me. And if they work for other people out there, that's great. I suffer and there's, that's all I can say is I suffer through the pain. I push myself through the pain. The chronic fatigue is pretty bad. I try to sleep. I try to get as much sleep as I possibly can. I go to bed pretty early so that even if I do wake up in the middle of the night from pain or whatever it is that wakes me up, I might have a chance of going back to sleep and getting a couple more hours before I have to get up and go to work. Um, it isn't a pleasant existence. It really isn't. And I watch Dale with all of his pain issues that he has and his lack of sleep because he has very bad pain issues. And... Um, so we are a household of two people that are in pain, uh, exhausted, and crabby, and can be miserable. And Dale and I are both um, trying to cohabitate now as two, as a new couple, two, you know, pretty much strangers moving in together, trying to work things out. Now, uh, I'm kind of segueing into what I wanted to talk about in the first place. I love Dale with all my heart. Dale was my knight in shining armor that came to me from out of nowhere and saved me from the wretched uh, existence of single and dating in the mid-40s. It was a nightmare. Met Dale and he was wonderful. And of course, as they say, when you move in together, 
uh, things change. And they have. Um, you know, we're getting to know each other. I get on his nerves. He gets on my nerves. Um, we're both not feeling good. So we have definite negatives on both sides that make it hard to come together as a couple. Um, and Dale does watch my uh, videos and is probably going to throw a spaz attack um, that I'm mentioning this. But, you know, somebody has to talk about it because it does have to do with pain issues. It is more than anything our pain issues. Dale has a um, nerve disease called reflexive sympathetic dystrophy. You can look it up. Um, on uh, YouTube, they have lots of people that talk about their reflexive um, sympathetic dystrophy, um, RSD. It is nasty, and he has been dealing with that for 14 years. I've been dealing with the fibromyalgia for almost uh, 11 and a half years now. And so this is where fibromyalgia and pain issues and other chronic illnesses can really hurt a couple. And so it's not really about Dale and I per se, it is about the illness and being ill and being sick. I am trying to be very Zen-like and be compassionate and kind. And we have lots of CDs, books, and everything that we have um, that is supposed to make you deal better with life. And we both kind of prescribe to the um, Buddhist um, mentality. We try very hard. And every now and then, an angry word comes out, an angry action, a type of negativity comes out into play, and it makes it very difficult for a couple who is just starting to live together um, to have a positive, happy home. We both want to make this work and we both love each other very much and there has been a lot of negativity uh, with the moving um, unpacking lots of junk here that needs to be put away that hasn't been put away and Mindy is a neat freak and Mindy is li living with cardboard boxes everywhere that is why I haven't done a tour yet ladies and gentlemen of the new place because we have nowhere to put the stuff Two people coming into one place, nowhere to put anything. I'm stressing out and I'm not a happy camper. Work is very, very busy. Nonstop phone calls. Still love the people that I work with. Thank God I have good people to work with. The pain issues, the chronic fatigue issues. I am not a easy person to get along with. I'm trying though. So I think that Dale and I both need to kind of work things out. I love him to death. I love Maggie. And it is definitely worth making it work. So for my co-fibromyalgia people out there, my fellow fibromyalgia sufferer friends, do not give up. Do not give up. Push as hard as you possibly can because the alternative that we have to not have pain and not be exhausted is not a choice. The drugs out there hardly work. Exercise hardly works. We all have issues with um, depression and it's very difficult. But the alternative to not feeling the pain is not feeling the pain and not being on this earth any longer. So anyways, namaste. Peace, love, um, and please love each other and take care of each other as much as you can. Um, show your spouses this video. Um, they really, really need to understand that we are not trying to be difficult. We are just not feeling well. Peace, love, and light. Bye, everybody.